Welcome back to the Liquor Camp. If this is your first time joining us, my name is Christina and today we are featuring apple cider whiskey. The holiday season is in full swing and this is the time of year when most distilleries start putting out their limited releases for fall and winter. And so I've gathered four really great choices for you today. Two of them I've already tried. Jack Daniels Winter Jack Tennessee Cider and Evan Williams Spice Cider. I really like them. So when we saw Kings Creek Black Label Cider and J Seeds Apple Cider Whiskey when we were out of town, I had to pick them up and try them with you today. The Jack Daniels Kings Creek and Evan Williams come in around about 30 proof and they retail for around about 15 to 16 dollars. The Jack Daniels and the Evan Williams I know for certain are pretty readily available in just about every market and usually can be found in your average beer and wine section around the fall and winter season. J Seeds, I, I would expect that this, because this is 70 proof, it's not gonna be available in every grocery store and most likely gonna only be available in liquor stores. Let's get these open because I am dying to try these. So now that I have these all opened and poured, we're gonna try them all straight out of the bottle, see which ones I like, and then we're gonna warm them up and see if that changes anything. Let's start with the King's Creek. So this reminds me a lot more of like a caramel apple or a candy apple. I smell the apple immediately and really get that sweetness and that brown sugar on the back. Oh, and that's exactly what the flavor tastes like. So this reminds me a lot of a candy apple. It's got the spices, the fall spices in there, but they're on in the background. I taste a lot more of the apple forward. Let's try the Evan Williams Spice Cider. I get a lot more of that cinnamon and fall spices right on the nose and through the flavor. This is still really good, but I get a lot more of those spices on the tongue. The cinnamon and the clove and the nutmeg are really strong, but I expected that with a name like Spiced Cider. It's still a really good flavor. Let's try the Winter Jack. On the nose, this comes across more of like a, a ginger ale or a cream soda type of aroma. And that's kind of the way that the flavor is as well. It's uh, you still get some of that, those fall spices and the apple in the background, but it, it feels more like a soda type of flavor. It's a lot brighter. Now let's get into this higher proof J Seeds. I'm really excited about this one because I am a whiskey fan. Let's see if this lives up to the hype. On the nose, that's what I smell. I smell that higher proof whiskey. There's still a little bit of the apple and the fall spices in there, but you get mostly whiskey on the nose. and on the flavor. Uh, this feels a lot more like a whiskey that you would want to drink neat or even on the rocks. Very whiskey forward. You still get a little bit of the apple and the fall spices on the back end. It has a really nice finish because of that. But this is one that I think that whiskey or bourbon fans are gonna really enjoy a lot more than the rest. As far as I'm concerned, straight out of the bottle, especially if I'm at like a holiday party with friends or family, I'm gonna reach for that Kings Creek because it is really sweet. It's got a great, really deep, rich flavor, but it tastes a lot more like caramel apple and the spices come in. I enjoy that Kings Creek straight out of the bottle. Let's try to warm these up and see if that changes anything for me. Now that I've got them all warmed up, let's see if it changes how I feel about them. Let's start with the Kings Creek. Still really good. It doesn't change the flavor much, but it does bring out a little bit of more of those spices and balances that, that sweetness out a little bit more. Still really good. Let's see what happens with the Evan Williams. Evan Williams is definitely one that I think was meant to drink warm. It balances out that harshness of the spices, pulls a little bit more of the sweetness and the, the apple flavor into it. It makes it a lot more enjoyable. The Winter Jack, let's see if that changes at all. Once again, I think that Winter Jack is one that was meant to drink warm. It pulls a lot of that brightness down 
smooths a lot of it out, brings that sweetness up, and a lot more of the apple and the spices come through when it's warmer. Now let's see if the higher proof and the heat does anything to this J Seeds. So J Seeds still has that really strong whiskey forward type of flavor. It does bring out a lot more of the sweetness and the the apple and spice flavor of the cider this really doesn't change with the heat it just brings out a little bit more of the spice to it but i know you came here to see which one was our favorite and if i had to choose one either room temperature or heat it up i'm gonna pick the king's creek black label cider the Evan Williams Spice Cider is a very close second and heated up, it's even closer, but the King's Creek has a really great, sweet, balanced, easy to drink flavor that I think was really good at the holiday season. Either fall or winter, this one is the one I'm gonna pick. So go out and get yourself some apple cider whiskey to enjoy with your friends and family. We wish you a very happy holiday season. Please go check out our other flavored whiskey videos always drink responsibly and we'll see y'all back here at the camp.